Hey, what's up? <laughs> Ouch, that's too much. <laughs> Long time no post, I'm still alive in kicking and today I have some updates on what's going on plus some good tips on how you can land your dream job. As you probably know, I moved to Miami and went working for several architectural companies. One of them was D-Box, the most professional art biz production and branding company out there. But before I got into D-Box, I went and worked for several architects and interior designers here in Miami, just to fill the market and get it going. And through that experience, I found several cool tricks that helped me to get jobs much easier. You might want to take a pen and a piece of paper to mark them down. So the first one will be send only three images of your best job together with your resume or portfolio while applying for a job. I know that companies get overwhelmed and bumped by millions of photos and they get lost. So they just want to have a sneaky peek into your quality work and see exactly what you are and what you can do. I've tested it several times and that's the right amount of information that will get you the interview and will take you to the stage two, which is actually making friends and connecting to the team while making good impression. If you're hungry for a job, you become needy and that's unattractive. So make sure you do everything in order to be attractive at this stage. Tip number two will be about building trust. When you get to the meeting, your main goal is to demonstrate perspective, long-term future relationships. If you already got to that stage, that means you're good. But the company wants to know if they can trust you. Nobody wants to hire an unstable worker. So make sure when you come to the meeting, you're very relaxed. Go early to bed and have presentable look, but don't overdo it. Sport elegant or casual is the right way to go. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just Google it. But don't come wearing expensive Armani suit. You might just look like a salesman rather than a 3D artist. Make sure you don't talk too much. Ask questions about the company and show interest. If it's a lunch, good indicator will be your plate. If you have more food on your plate than the person that you're having meeting with, that means you talk too much. Bring laptop, tablet or some prints of your other jobs and talk about the process of creating them. Don't flatter yourself or take credit for something you haven't done. Your lack of knowledge will show up as soon as you start working. Be very humble and even if your work is good, always show interest to learn more. Remember to end up conversation on a high note to demonstrate enthusiasm and participation in future projects of that company. Getting a job is one thing but keeping a job is another. So tip number three will be about building strong relationship that will last long. After getting a job, you're entering a trial period when you both connect and earning each other's trust. So here's some solid guidelines that will help you to position yourself as an expert. Always be on time. If you're late, that means you don't care enough to keep the job. Smell and look good. You can wear your dirty shirts at home. Remember, attraction is not a choice, so make sure you always stay attractive. While working, ask enough questions to keep your learning process going. But don't be a pain in the ass. Use your logistic thinking to explore the company's workflow and get familiar with the working library on the server. If you need to go somewhere, let people know about it. Even if it's just to get a coffee or water, be talkative, it helps to break the ice and creates a good aura around you. When you're done, don't rush to go home. Stay a little bit longer, talk to the team, maybe check some cool designs on the community forums. Repeat this and you'll be able to keep that job of your dreams. I hope you enjoyed those tips and it will help you to get your new gig and grow your career in the art biz industry. As for me, I'd still be able to do some cool tutorials during the weekend. As you see here, I set up my little studio, so more cool stuff is going to come every week. Plus, we'll be launching very soon our new platform called Beery School, with all our trainings being upgraded and all the forums being connected, so make sure to subscribe and follow up when it's out. Wish you awesome holidays, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Simply remember, if you want to do it right, do it like a pro. This is Alex, your Beery Guide. Like it, share it. Peace.